soon after George Mikan's retirement, the Lakers would fall to the bottom of the NBA. But they used the first pick in the 1958 draft to select a player who would not only change the direction of the franchise, but of the game itself, the University of Seattle's Elgin Baylor. Elgin was a new kind of ball player. First of all, he, he could just jump. Nobody ever seen jumping like that before. Up and over the greatest defensive player in the game, Bill Russell, a dunk I used to kid everybody I wore out of the side of uh, my Converse basketball shoes by throwing him the ball and running to the other corner because that was the best play we had, was get it to Elgin and get out of the way. Modern basketball began with Elgin Baylor. Every single hesitation move, every single reverse layup, every single between the legs dribble, every single spinning move that you see in a routine manner in every single NBA game, the college game played today, owes its existence to the mind of one man, Elgin Baylor. With his groundbreaking skills, Baylor instantly revived the Lakers, leading them to the NBA Finals in just his rookie season. But they would fall in four games to the team that would become their nemesis for years to come, the Boston Celtics. Despite the brilliance of Baylor, the Lakers fell on hard times both on the court and at the box office, and they would soon become the first NBA franchise on the West Coast. We had never been to L.A. before, and here we are. Uh, the Lakers were so happy to get out of all that cold weather in, in Minneapolis and get to L.A. where Hollywood and the palm trees and so forth. The Lakers made their Los Angeles debut in 1960. That year, the team would also move west in a different respect, drafting a six-foot-three-inch guard with an abundance of talent named Jerry West. Jerry was the type of player that, you know, would embarrass you. He was so quick and fast. I mean, he'd just blow right by you. That's Jerry West. This fella can shoot a little bit. He was the guy I did not want to play because he was so quick and he could leap and he could get to a spot and all of a sudden he's up. You, you don't even have time to get up to try to block a shot. That's how good he was. But there was more to West than just his great skill. He was a fierce competitor who was at his best in the game's deciding moments. A very special person going to the wire. We always went to Jerry West. The last shot of the game, he's gonna make it. And his nickname was Mr. Clutch. By West's second season, he and Baylor had become one of the league's most lethal duos, combining for nearly 70 points a game. Their entertaining style helped make the Lakers a hit in Tinseltown. And Los Angeles rolled into the 1962 NBA Finals, where they'd face the league's newest dynasty, Red Auerbach's three-time defending champion, Boston Celtics.